Hello from Gardening at Dwensa here in Ireland and today I'm going to repot a seriously pot-bound bird of paradise. So just look at this poor plant. It's terrible to think what we let happen sometimes. But the problem with this plant is it's very vigorous and it has an enormous great big fleshy taproot so it's hard to keep up with its potting requirements. So today I'm going to put it into a bigger pot. It's been hard, hard to find a bigger pot but I found one. The first thing I'm going to do is remove this Aregoron which is a lovely plant but it's kind of seeded into the same pot as my bird of paradise. So and now I'm taking off these shells. These are just mussel shells from when we eat mussels. And I just think they look a bit ornamental on the top of a pot. Um, but we'll get rid of these now. Now, for the moment of truth, I'm going to try and pull this plant out of its pot. And, oh look, here's the remnants of a label in here. There we go. Strelitzia. <laughs> right, so I'm going to try and pull this plant out and I may need a knife and as I recall when I tried to do the delicious monster it went badly for me so <laughs> let's hope that this one doesn't. Now when you're pulling something out of a pot try and get your knee down on the pot but be aware that the, there mightn't be enough give in whatever you're holding and you, what you don't want to do is rip it off its roots. So Okay, all right, here we go. Here it is. And let's just put this down on the grass here and have a look at it. And as you can see, there are lots of fleshy roots. Look at those things. They're as big as, well, they're bigger than my thumb. Okay, so here we go. This is what I need to repot the plant and I've got a, a bigger pot. I'm sorry it has to be um, kind of ceramic, which makes it heavier. I would have preferred to have a plastic one just for ease of carting this thing out and into the greenhouse. But that's what I have, so that's what we're going to use. And the first thing I'm going to do is to put some polystyrene at the bottom of this pot just to help with drainage because this plant comes from, well, I'm not quite sure where it comes from. South Africa maybe? Certainly warmer places where there's a lot of sun and not as much rainfall as we might have here. So just a bit of polystyrene at the bottom to help with drainage is good. And the next thing I'm going to do now is make up the mix that I'm going to pot it in. And I've just got some ordinary compost here, but what I'm going to do is add in some horticultural sand to just help with drainage. It looks like that, it's quite fine. I use it for lots of things, whether it's potting pelargoniums or tropicals, I find it really handy. Now, so, so I suppose that's about a third, a third horticultural sand. Um, to two-thirds compost and now I'm just going to mix it all up. So there you go, that's nicely mixed now and I'm just going to take a bit of it and put it at the bottom of the pot because I can see I'm going to have enough space to do that. This pot is a good size for moving this strelitzia on. Now it's never actually flowered for me but oh wouldn't it be wonderful it did. It would be fantastic. I'd have to yell all over again so loud they'd hear me up in Dublin, like when the protea flowered. Okay, let's have, <laughs> let's have a look at the strelitzia now and see how the roots are doing. So I'm just going to move over here and <laughs> crouch down behind it, or beside it actually, and we can see lots of fleshy roots. And there's plenty of polystyrene in here, which I put in last time I potted it on. There doesn't seem to be any rot, which is good. So I'm just moving out the polystyrene. And uh, 
making a mess in the lawn. But that's the wonderful thing about lawns, you don't have to worry about making a mess on them. It's easy to scoop up and the rain comes and cleans them all up again. So it's just wonderful. Now just loosening up this uh, soil in here. Look at this root. <laughs> Isn't this just amazing? How could it have such a fleshy root? Look at it. Isn't it absolutely magnificent? Look at these enormous, great big, juicy roots. I don't know, like an enormous carrot or something. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pot this plant on and put it like this into the new pot. There we go. And um, backfill it with compost. And I'm going to backfill it with the mix that we've mixed. Now hopefully this plant will take off with a bit of sunshine and the new mix and hopefully I'll get flowers at some stage. Now I'm watering the plant and let's just see, give it a bit of water. And what I'm going to do next is put some grit on top. Well, this is horticultural grit and I'm going to just put it on top here around the neck of the plant. And the purpose is to stop the neck of the plant rotting when it gets watered. And that's the end of the video. That was my Strelitzia, my bird of paradise plant with its very thick roots that has just been repotted. I hope you found this video useful and I hope you'll check back again for lots more things and hopefully one day we'll see this little baby in flower. That's all for now. Bye!